So in this video, we're going to solve 6 to the x is equal to 7 to the x plus 1. But I'm going to solve it in three different ways, choosing different bases each time. Um, this is really good practice, but also shows you that um, there is a choice that you can make. It doesn't matter which of these bases I use. You could um, alternatively use a completely different base, and it would still be perfectly fine. But I'm going to give you three options here. So I'm going to start off by logging both sides and using base 6. I'm going to then use base 7, and then I'm going to use the natural logarithm. Okay, now we've been using the natural logarithm uh, to log both sides um, through the previous examples, so it's worth also seeing it here. So, we haven't dealt with an equation like this before, where we've got an exponential on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, but with different bases. So, logging both sides is your method. So I'm going to use base 6 here. So if I take logarithm of base 6 of both sides, the first thing to notice is that the left-hand side here is of the form of log base b of b to the x. So this is just x. You can alternatively think about bringing the x down to the front and then log base 6 of 6 is 1. You can think of it that way. Here the x plus 1 needs to come to the front. Make sure it's in a bracket. And we'll have log base 6 of 7. So now I'm going to expand the bracket out. So x is x log base 6 of 7 plus log base 6 of 7. Now I'm going to move this term over to the left-hand side. So x take away x log base 6 of 7 is log base 6 of 7. Factorise the left-hand side. and then divide through by your bracket. Like so. OK? So x is log base 6 of 7 divided by 1 take away log base 6 of 7. Right, so that's using base 6. So let's look at base 7 now. So take log base 7 of both sides. Now your left-hand side, the x can come down to the front, so use the power rule. And here, we've got it in the form of log base b of b to the x plus 1. So this is just x plus 1. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the 1 on the right-hand side. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. OK, then I can factorise the left-hand side. And then divide both sides by the bracket. OK, so the steps there were a little bit shorter. There's, I think, one step shorter. Uh, these two forms that you have here, they are both equivalent, okay? They look completely different, but they are both giving the same value. Right, let's try natural logs. So we're going to have the natural log of 6 to the x and the natural log of 7 to the x plus 1. Bring the x down to the front. Bring the x plus 1 down to the front. Make sure you've got the bracket. I'm going to expand the right-hand side. Then subtract the x log 7 from both sides, so get all the x's on one side of the equation. Factorise. And now divide through by your bracket. Now 
Now you might be thinking, can we can simplify the natural log of 6, take away natural log of 7 to the natural log of 6 over 7. And you could if you like, um, but I'm going to leave it like that. So we have here three very different looking forms, but all of them are equivalent and all of them give you the exact solution to the original problem. It just depends on which log base you choose to use to solve the equation.